एच आई वी इन प्रेगनेंसी एच आई वी स्टैंड फॉर ह्यूमन इम्यूनो डेफिशेंसी वायरस विच हैज़ द पोटेंशियल टू कॉज विच कॉजेज एक्वायर्ड इम्यूनो डेफिशेंसी सिंड्रोम सो देर आर टू वेरियंट्स एच आई वी वन एंड एच आई वी टू सो यूजली इफ अ प्रेग इफ अ प्रेगनेंट लेडी इज ऑलरेडी बीन अफेक्टेड विद एच आई वी एंड इज ऑलरेडी ऑन आर्ट शी शुड बी आज टू कंटिन्यू द आर्ट इरेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ हर प्रेगनेंसी और ड्यूरिंग हर लैक्टेशन शी शुड कंटिन्यू द ट्रीटमेंट एंड द ट्रीटमेंट शुड कंटिन्यू इरेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द सी डी फोर काउंट्स और द डब्ल्यू एच ओ क्लिनिकल स्टेजिंग सो द नॉर्मल ट्रीटमेंट दैट इज बिंग गिवन इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एफ लैमिविडिन टिनोफोवर अलॉन्ग विद इफ अ वायरस और नेविरापिन इफ सो देर इज अ हाई चांस ऑफ वर्टिकल ट्रांसमिशन इन सच केसेस फ्रॉम प्लेसेंटर टू द फीटस सो इफ द फीटस इज टेंड टू गेट एक्सपोज देन वी आर सपोज टू स्टार्ट द पेशेंट विथ नेविरापिन फॉर मिनिमम ट्वेल्व वीक्स द फीटस शुड बी गिवेन दैट मच ऑफ थेरेपी coming coming to the hiv2 hiv2 here uh, the fa uh, the fa virus or nevirapin is of no use so we have to replace it with another drug that is indonavir or lopinavir and the other treatment remains the same the drug doses is lamivudin has to be given to 300 mg and tenofovir uh, is 300 mg and uh, the uh, lopinavir or indinavir that is being given is 200 mg or 50 mg uh, two tablets has to be uh, taken then uh, for the child for the fetus uh, the protection has to be, uh, be given by zero wooden uh, that the minimum is 6 weeks but maximum uh, it can be increased to 12 weeks of uh, prophylaxis uh, for the fetus for the uh, uh, newborn now uh, one thing is that uh, in case of uh, hiv1 who has taken previously uh, the dosage of uh, uh, the fvirins and nevirapin for them uh, the same treatment uh, will not be effective so we have to replace again with lopinavir or indinavir and uh, usually uh, it is advised that if in case of uh, the suspected mothers or if they are of high risk they need they should be screened if they are not already been screened for the hiv they should be screened for the these tests like vdrl hiv and uh, hbsag and apart from the routine blood investigation and uh, since uh, the hiv is a immunodeficiency uh, disease so the patient is usually uh, immunosuppressed uh, and uh, more prone for having uh, uh tuberculosis or any opportunistic infection like pneumocystis gyrovesi uh to have pneumonia so they should be started with cortimoxazole uh, therapy also which should be double strength or with dapson whichever is uh, feasible so cortimoxazole double strength means uh, it is basically we know that cortimoxazole is a combination of uh, sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim and it is given in uh, the ratio 5 is to 1 the fixed dose so the strength is 800 mg of sulfamethoxazole with the uh, 160 mg of trimethoprim so this combination has to be given uh, so that is cpt treatment basically uh and tuberculosis uh, should be assessed because they are also been uh, co-infected with co-infected with tuberculosis and uh, uh, the therapy should uh, be independent of the uh, cd4 range or uh, the who clinical staging